Welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, where uh, King William here yes. is leading from the front in the uh, the takeover of the United Kingdom and Ireland. He's just about to, to banish the rebels from Wales, so um, get a, get straight in and take over take over Wales. We shall slaughter them, my lord. All right, let's go. Yeah, the uh, balance of power slightly in our favour, but I do reckon with their with their lack of forces, even though they got the the spearmen here, I do reckon it shouldn't be shouldn't be any trouble at all. all right, let's Show go. no mercy. Kill them all. Straight away. Um, should be out of range of the towers again. Right, let's see how they lined up. Yeah, so they got their got their archers there on the walls. Are oh, they reloading? I mean, they're going to be firing. Right, let's go quick. Straight in. Send the uh, send the backup ram as well, just in case the first one fails. A load of longbowmen. They so far they aren't. They aren't taking down too many of the troops. I say that as several of them all die at the same time. Spearing up to the front now as well, get them ready for when the when the ram gets through. <clears throat> Leave King William hanging around at the back. Don't want to be don't want to be risking his life. Oh wait, they've come straight out. Brilliant. Okay, let's go quick. Battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Light infantry, so send the horses in as well. Kind of got a... all the units hanging around at the back there, and very few at the front. Might be a good idea to uh, try and send the horses around to the side. Get running, you guys. With us today, we've captured the enemy's walls. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Um, everyone, gain. There, long bit of that'll be perfect. Alright, 
right. So they're uh, the longbow and the vulnerable now. Take them all down. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Where are you guys going? Come back. Yeah, if they're going to leave the, the infantry over in the middle there, that's that's perfect for me. You guys want to get in? Kind of left that uh, that ram blocking the door a little bit. I'm struggling to get in. Where did them spearmen come from? Only half the enemy force remains. Hit them from behind. That's perfect, they're running now. They aren't going anywhere. Left now, then uh, the uh, the troops are in the middle. Just get them all running in, easy victory. That's so actually as a as a group. And the second group as well. Send the horses up here, send them around the back. So try and minimize the amount of troop loss. Go up here. Go to the top there, horses. Don't go engaging. Head on with them spearmen. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, never mind. Please yourselves and go and get get involved straight away. Yeah, please, uh, please get out of the battle. Now they got their backs turned. I can charge in. Do some damage. Run, please. Not much of a charge if you just walk in. Troops there, so if you want to head head back out again, and same with you guys. Need to get some of these spearmen going around the sides. To be honest, try and get them surrounded. Mercy, we've lost half of our men. Charge! I think that battle could have gone our a little bit better. The battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. 
I think we've already smashed them, mate. Yeah, that, that battle could have gone a little bit better, I reckon. But Bison no George, problem. Our men are taking control of the castle. Let's just speed it up now until they are vanquished. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. We've sent the base cur to hell. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. That's quite a significant amount of men that we lost in that battle. No problem. Nothing can stop us, sire. The settlement has fallen. Take the spoils of war. Lacking in, lacking in florins. So I'm gonna, gonna sack the settlement just to try and bolster, bolster the bank a little bit. Even though it means that they do lose a few of their uh, population. Castle, so I can't change the tax rate. Um, I think I'll leave the the construction for a turn. I think I'll leave them as well, just just for now. Wait and see if the see if the bank will go up a little bit. Um, Scotland, we've got quite a lot of troops over here in Dublin. So before before sailing across, I want to make sure that I've got a, a significant army over here, so that I can definitely ensure that they uh, that they won't be a problem for me. But in the meantime, I do think that going over. To, to Edinburgh and attacking them over here since they've only got one unit garrisoned. I reckon that'll be a a good strategy to employ. I know that I'd uh, I'd done everything else that I could do for this turn. So just end and see see what the computer does now. So it looks like they're heading back to Edinburgh then. There we go, the largest faction. Doesn't even look too big to be honest at the moment, but I'll take it. Anywhere on the scores that uh, that are number one. All right, the bank balance is actually looking pretty pretty good now. Um, let's see. Okay, so it looks like. 3,000 3, more coming in than what's going out. <clears throat> Zero construction recruitment in the expenditure. It gives me gives me a good bit of wiggle room to play with there. We get these guys retrained. Um, get some roads, some land clearance coming in. Still want to be aiming towards getting the economy bolstered at the moment. <clears throat> Grain exchange over here. I 
I reckon with this this spy that I've got, too, I think I want to get him coming up here just so that I can Tomorrow's keep a watch on what out. The Highlands what this lad is doing. If he heads over there, I may not actually want to attack them. But if they are going to have their army somewhere in the middle, might be a good idea to attack both of these castles at the same time and then their army would only be able to go and and back up one of them potentially so then that would then mean that I'd definitely be able to, to take over at least one of them My king, my lord, sire, my lord. Leave some, some archers and some spearmen there just, just to keep watch over the town. And uh, I'll just send them to the edge, still, still staying in English territory, but close enough so that in one move it'll be possible to, to head over there and, and attack their castle. Perhaps you seek a diplomat and not a warrior. Or maybe... Maybe that'll be a terrible idea. My respects to you, your majesty. They may only have one garrison in the castle, but they've got a massive army over there. Gonna have to... Hail my king! Have to build up some more troops, I reckon. Get some horses coming in. Hmm. I don't want to be building anything for now, other than those, other than those troops. So yeah, this diplomat. Yes, my talking lord. to Spain. Approaching their dignitary, sire. Is there something I can do for you, noble lord? Trade rights, balance, okay, make offer. We accept this proposal only under great duress. Until next time. Okay, so now I need to go and find out where Portugal is. I don't remember exactly where their, their castle is. Without question, sire. Hopefully I'll find them somewhere. Tomorrow's journey okay, planned go. out, sire. I need to do that so that I can get these military units. And hopefully. At your service. Okay, I'm gonna need one more turn after this. As you command. Tomorrow's journey awaits, sire. Daughter of the Crown. Ah, perfect. I can see where the where the castle is. Head over there then. Am I to win over hearts or heads? Um, I don't know, Mario. If I want you to enter diplomacy, our people. get some more trade rights coming in. A lady needs her rest, sire. Who are you? My father Denmark, speaks very well of you, Lord. Already done diplomacy with you. Um, I would quite like to be allies with Germany, just so that then when I then start attacking France, I don't have to worry as much about the Germans coming in and attacking me and having a war on two fronts. I'm going to get some more troops coming in here so I can go and take over Bruges as well, keep the expansion going. How many have they got? Eight. Got nine. Okay. So I should be able to, with the troops that are coming in here, be able to, to launch a successful attack over on Bruges. So I think I want to do for now. Let's end the turn, see what happens.
Okay, he's... He would be perfect to have. Loyalty is the main one that I look for. Don't want him to be switching sides at any point, but at the moment, she's got another duty. She needs to go start. My lord. And in diplomacy with as many places as possible, get as many trade rights going as is possible. I am ready to approach. They'll be charmed, I'm sure. <clears throat> yeah, it's the next turn for you. Your Majesty. New diplomacy Approaching with the Portuguese. Dignitary, sire. Get those military units. What is it you would discuss with me? Trade rights. Balance. Perfect. We accept this proposal. This concludes our meeting, yes? Two hobblers in London. I shall send these guys um, up north to join the attack up here on Edinburgh. Orders, sire. I'll actually send My some Lord. of the town militia as well. Don't need to be having that many troops. Actually, not the militia. I'll send the I'll send the spearmen. There we go. Leave them with just three. In London, that should be enough. I'm not too worried about any invasions heading that way. Um, send them north. By your command. That should be plenty of troops then to have over to attack Scotland. Perhaps you seek a diplomat and not a warrior. Sire, approaching quietly. Not sure where that other Scottish army has gone. If they are just gonna leave just leave their uh leave their prince there. That'd be perfect for then attacking them. If you wish to parley, noble sire, send an emissary. Florence is, st is still looking pretty low. I send, my king. send these guys up over towards Bruges. Leave the peasants behind. Sire. And those archers my as well. Lord. Sire. 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 My lord. That army should easily be sufficient to take on Bruges. Hopefully the French don't start getting any ideas and think that they can uh, can evade me when I'm just leaving two troops there. As you will, my king, to battle. See what Greetings, like. my ally. So it looks like they should have no trouble at all in taking over Antwerp. Hail, my trusted ally. Bit of a shame as I'd like to have taken them over as well. Never mind. Makes for spearmen just to have a bit more defences in KN. And that already is going to conclude this turn. I think. At your get the, service. Let's get the merchant Journey and then Florins. Opening a new trade lane, my liege. Certainly lacking in Florins at the moment. Okay, so the the Danish weren't weren't able to defeat them somehow. No, it's still too soon to be marrying Princess off. I'll leave that one. For now I've got five turns to do that. I don't want to be spending all my florins just building up the army. The army has the upkeep costs, so if I uh, if I go over and get those military units into into London, it's just going to be ramping up the costs when I need to be getting more florins coming in. Hail, my king! 
The methods do not matter. Only our victory. Should be able to, to take them down. As you command, my liege. Laying siege, noble sire. Get some rams. Maintain siege. We shall prevail in this siege, sire. Sire, my lord, my lord, sire, orders. Just leave two of them in Nottingham. Shall leave town militia and take the spear militia lord. instead. <clears throat> Want these guys to be joining up with Prince Rufus. We'll make camp here. Hail my king. Ah, sorry, my lord. I'm no diplomat. Scotland have actually got a lot of a lot of army going on. It's going to be quite the My war. Respects to you, Your Majesty. Orders, sire. Orders. Obviously, there's only three left over. Couldn't have uh, couldn't have got up to two nicely, could you? No, three left over. All right. Um, I'll leave them here for now, but I will be heading over to Dublin at the same time I launch this attack. I think in yeah, two more, two turns, I'll be up attacking Edinburgh. Hopefully, at the same time, the Highlands finest. This army over here will be attacking. I think that's Inverness. Hopefully, they'll be up there attacking Inverness. I'll be preoccupied and I can then just take both of these settlements over. If you wish to parley, noble sire, send an emissary. If you wish to parley, noble sire, send an emissary. Sire. Am I to win over hearts or heads? Need trade rights and hopefully Represent an alliance. On. Is there something to discuss? Trade rights, alliance, generous, perfect. Can we take map information as well then? That'd be perfect if we can. I see no reason why not. Perfect. We accept. Until next time. Okay, so hopefully now the Germans and the Danish don't go to war. Otherwise, I'll have to break one of those alliances. Be nice to worry about both of them not attacking me for now. They've actually seen quite a lot of the map of the Germans, so let's put some of these cities on the map. Daughter of the Crown. Carrying on with the diplomacy. Go down and talk to the Italians. The Venetians, Sicilians, the Pope as well. Head down this way, please. Post haste, sire. Waiting for morning now, sire. Your orders, sire. And now that I've formed diplomacy with the Portuguese and the Spanish, makes sense to go towards. I can't remember what yes, that faction is called. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. Who are they? The Moors, that's the one. There we go, the Moors. I'm going to get some trade rights with the Moors. That's everything done for now. Don't be buying anything. Need to be need to be getting these florins up. The florins are looking dire. In this turn. Are they attacking. They are. All right then. Okay, that balance of power does not look good at all. What have they even got? Pikemen, crossbowmen, armoured sergeants, and mailed knights.
yeah, it does actually kind of look like this is going to be a, a difficult battle. Hopefully, with the with the horses, I can win it. Win it with the horses. Right then. Let's see how this goes. Muster your courage, men. A little bit worried about this battle. Might be needing that. Okay, we want to get you guys onto the outside. Bring you into the middle. Holy moly. They are not messing around, they're coming straight out on the attack. Gonna have to use the the, uh, the general bodyguards as well. Can't remember who it is. Is it Robert? <clears throat> All right. I like the way they're coming out in this line strategy. It's gonna gonna give me the opportunity to to surround them. Go on then. Horses coming from the side. Very chaotic at the moment. Our men are winning um, the battle. Alright, horses, you if can now come in and like take this, these armor sergeants. Take them so they don't get the horses. Just keep our all going. Alright, go on then. Yeah, you're gonna have to get out of there. Get in there. Get in there, lads. Take on their cavalry there. Right. Don't go running into their fight, man. Where are you going? Come back here. Click on those pipe men. This is going very well. Very well indeed. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Keep the morale up. Chasing down. That went far better than I was expecting. It was a bit of a panic. Um, they're straight on onto me from the beginning. Come on, lads. Okay. 
They're not spearing. Everyone go in. Why are you waiting there for? I think I have to do each one individually. Go on. Oh. That is an absolute nightmare. Alright, no, now, now go, now go, now go. Thought for a second there I was going to have to get out the ram. Our men are okay. winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the have to get, get him out of there before he gets killed by those spearmen. Out there, General. Hardly got any troops left now. Charge straight in, take on those crossbowmen. We don't have any more spearmen left. So I don't have to worry about my horses too much. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. We've lost half of our men. Doesn't matter. This battle went very, very well indeed. Nothing more to do. Just got to wait for them to to all be killed off now. My lord, our men are in command of the city. Take on their last unit. Easy. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Went far better than I was expecting. That is great news. Absolutely great news. By God's will, we have triumphed! My lord, our courage and honour have conquered! I need those florins. Let's sack the settlement. Take as many florins as possible. Okay, so it looks like Henry is now old enough to have his own unit of general bodyguards. 
guessing then he's going to be at the capital. No. Is he over in Wales? Okay, so he's over there with, with his dad, King William. It's actually probably a good thing. Send both of them over to Dublin. My lord. Sire. Can now go join it with Prince Rufus. Yes, sire. Join that army is looking amazing now. Perhaps you seek a diplomat and not a warrior. Scotland aren't gonna know what's hit him. Where to, sire? Of course, sire. No time to haver. I'm on duty. Ah, sorry, my lord. I'm no diplomat. They're going to be taking down Inverness next turn, I'm guessing. And I'm hoping that he's not close enough that he can then come back and help out with this battle. Hail, my king! My respects. I think he might be able to. I'm still going to go in next turn. I was going to hope Perhaps you seek a that it's going to be going to be good enough to be able to, to take on Edinburgh. At the same time, now ships ready. I should be able to move all of these troops over in one Fleet turn. So ready, I'll just get sire. you sire, right next door. Cannot sail there. Can't plot that, course, that should sire. be enough. Enough movement to be able to get the attack on Dublin at the same time. Some more structures to get. Get the Florence coming in, roads, grain exchange, land clearance, ports. Get all them queued up. Rene needs to get four units in. Can't build any. Leave now, make the units in KN and then send them over. I don't want to be buying peasants, do I? No, I'll leave it. I'll, I'll get that done just before, just before it runs out. So I've got four turns. I'll leave that for now. Now this army may be strong enough to go and take on Bruges as well. Make some town militia. Not Bruges, sorry, Antwerp. <clears throat> How's the taxes looking? We know it's very high. Squeeze as many florins out as possible. Yes, my lord. Play my head. Head on down towards. Without question, Moors. sire. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. Just let her move automatically. Okay, it's everything done. Let's have a look at the finances. Should be going up quite a few florins now. Plenty of farming and trade coming in. The expenditures not looking not looking too too bad. I can start getting a load of florins coming in, then I can then start building up all of these areas with more um, with more attacking attacking methodology rather than rather than going all out on the economy. Okay, they retreated from Inverness. That means there's going to be a massive army over there. I still don't want to marry off the princess yet.
At your service. At your service. Okay, so the merchant's gained. Uh, has he gained any more skill? I don't think so. But somehow he's getting more florins from that amber. I'm not going to complain if he's getting more money coming in. Actually, up a little bit. Grade the walls there. Shall. Um. I build a leather tanner here just because, in my opinion, the the armor is the is the best thing to be upgrading, as that affects then. Um, all all the non-armored troops that come through will then be getting better armor. And so rather than having building a unit, creating a uh, building that will then only um, only be a good thing for the for that singular unit. Having the defenses getting built is going to be useful for all the units. And so overall, I think that getting getting the leather tanner, as this is going to be my main my main attacking front against the French. That's going to be the most useful structure to, to get. And over here, let's see. Should I get better farming or not? I, think I'll, I don't want to be making this one too strong of a, of a castle. I want this one to be getting converted into, into a town, really. So I might just leave that for now. How's their army looking? If you wish to parley, noble sire, send a Hail my king! They look strong, but they don't look too strong. I think what I, I could do to you, your is attack Edmund and force force the king to come out and help. And then just take them down just because I've got I've got all these horses. You wish to parley, noble sire, and they send have an Hardly any horses, so I'll be able to just run rings around them, attack them from behind, destroy their units with all of these horses. Always a pleasure, dear ally. I leave. Hail my king. I leave two units behind and send the rest in to attack Sire. Sire. on on Antwerp. And how that's going to be be enough units. Maybe the Danish will will help me out and help me take over Antwerp. It's not a lot of units that I'm sending, but hopefully. As they're, as they're just the rebels. I reckon that's why I was able to take over Bruges, just because they're the rebels, and so their their fighting ability isn't quite as good as the as the actual factions. So hopefully I'll be able to do the same to Antwerp, as they're just a rebel town as well. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Laying siege, noble sire. I reckon they'll do the same we and come out and attack. We shall in this siege, sire. Hopefully my armor should be strong enough to take them down anyway. Let's make the cheapest units to send over to Rene. Alright, King William. Henry. An order, my king. Sire. Sire, orders. Send all of you. Hopefully, hopefully, that'll be enough troops to leave behind. There's not very many at all. Hopefully, they won't rebel against my army if I do this. Move. Okay, perfect. Ships ready. Send you over to Dublin. 
I never like sailing anyway. Command me, sire. All right. No hostility so far. Don't care. Gonna go They'll straight in. They'd never been born, sire. Besieging the cowards, Malige. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. Looking pretty lonely over there, mate. I don't think this is gonna go very well for you. Prince Edward. Hail my king. And the only other thing left to do. Send you up here to attack Edmund. Maybe he'll retreat into the castle. Or maybe maybe their king will come out and attack. I'm not sure. Let's find out. I actually send the spy into Edinburgh. 50% success is not very high. I'm gonna risk it anyway. Watching from the shadows, sire. I love watching these little clips to see if they succeed or fail. Let's see. As if he wouldn't notice that. Come on now. I don't mind, I'm glad that you're in. Worst disguise ever. So here we go. This is now where where the spy has a chance that they'll be able to open the gates. 24% chance, that's plenty. Take that. Right. Hail my king! Gonna attack their family member, Prince Prince was it Edmund, I think it was. As you will, my king, to battle. Let's see what they do. Yeah. So they do have more units, but they are severely lacking in horses. Are any of their guys any good? They got who are these guys? Highlanders. Effective against armor. Okay, well, I can't see this being too too difficult, hopefully, even though the balance of power is in their favour. Just because of all the horses that I've got. Don't have too many less men, and since uh, as well their, their king is going to be backing up Prince Edmund, if I go straight in, rush Prince Edmund, take him down, and then and I should still have plenty of troops left to take on King Malcolm. Honor and glory await England men. Attack. They got the high ground, but I'm not too worried about that. It's pretty flat, really. Start grouping these troops together already. And then we want to get these three as a group. And these three as a group. Actually, I want to. One of you there. Looks, literally, literally looks like they fly. Can you do that? There you go. No, teleport even. Teleport. Go on, teleport. There you go. Good job. So, and that dude as well. Okay, so that's then group three. And this is group two. Hasn't archers as well. Don't think they're going to be very useful in this battle. Maybe they'll make all the difference. And then hopefully I'll be able to, to leave who was it, Prince Rufus? Leave Prince Rufus hanging around at the back and not risk his life. The enemy are bringing okay. in reinforcements. Wasn't expecting him to go up there like that. Right. And there. King is coming from over this way. Alright. Send you up there. You guys just come straight in. And the rest of you will then have to catch up. Send these horses around the side over here. Units, Get 
run in. Get you over there and then hopefully we'll be able to do at least some damage. Horses. Okay, horses go in that side, you come in that side, and you guys come up the middle. This is looking good. Yes, surrounded. They aren't going to stand a hope in hell. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I want to get this finished before their king arrives. They are getting destroyed. This circle around them that I've got going. Mind if any of them run away? I see George. Our men have slain the enemy general. The enemy are Prince Edmund, bloody. goodbye. They have lost nice knowing you. Men. Thanks for playing. They're all trying to run, but they've a little bit stuck, really. So that means I can just slay all of their units. Oh wait, are you are you? Little cheeky fuckers. Right. Which group were you from? I want these horses to be going over there. Light infantry. Send you in there. Oh, you kind of caught me by surprise here, to be honest. No, get away from those spearmen, get away from those spearmen, please get away. This is not good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, now that they're running over there. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. It's not good that I've got all my horses against these spearmen, to be honest. King wants to be moving away, that's good news. Only half the enemy force remains. Alright, all of you guys now. Take on the king. You guys as well, all of you. Take on the king. Where are you running up to? Mercy. We've lost half of our men. Okay, there's crossbowmen. To be honest, they're gonna have to be sacrificed while I take on the Scottish king. To be honest, maybe actually I can. Uh, it's actually not looking as good as it as it initially was. Those light cavalry have been playing havoc over there while I've been concentrating on their king. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I've got so many horses still that they're oh, they rinse me over there. Kill 
kill the king quickly, please. Go on, kill him. The enemy king yes. is slain. A worthy Perfect. enemy, but no less dead right. for that. We must press Quickly our advantage. Take on these boss women. Over here. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Try and take on as many of their troops as possible. Lost a significant amount of troops there, but it's no no problem. Glad to be taking Edinburgh over. I'm pretty sure that with their with their king dead, even though they'll have some troops left, I'm I'm hopeful. That will be Edinburgh taken over. Uh, to be honest, just to speed it up as the uh, as the enemy route there. Just their horses running off left. Some light infantry. them down as well. Go on, get them. Where's the internet? Oh, go on. Well, yeah, got two of them. Of One will of be them. Awed by the victory we have won here today. Okay, I think. Mm, I'll take that. They lost twice as many. them. Uh, to be honest, I don't actually want to sell them back. I'm just going to kill no. them. Does so that take over the castle? No. What have they got left in there? No one. Well. Orders. To battle it is then, sire. Glorious victory is ours, sire. Brilliant. As you commanded, sire. These lands are now yours. That's a lot of money. I'll do that. Set settlement. Take the money. And their people have no trouble now with the English taking over the the Scottish capital. A bit surprising. Not going to complain. Get some farms in there. And retrain these units. All right, that's then going to conclude this episode. Be taking on Dublin, the King William next time, and also Robert's going to be taking on Antwerp. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. <laughs>